Can you use Revit on M1 MacBook Air? You're about to find out. What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna test Revit. And as you can see, um, I'm using the Windows 10 on Parallels. And I already installed 2019. And now you might be wondering why are you using 2019 version? Not why not uh, 2021 or 2020? Why 2019? The reason is simple, because it's not working. I tried Revit, so many versions, all of them are not working. I'll just show you here. I'll double click Revit right here. You'll see what's gonna happen. Now it seems like it's working, right? Yeah, now it's on. Seems pretty, you know, fine, right? Just wait a few more seconds. You'll see what's gonna happen. A little bit more. Yeah, this error. So this error showed on every version of Revit. 2020, 2021, it doesn't matter. It has the same issue. And I was thinking, why is it happening? So I just Googled like why this is happening. And they said I need to check their log file, like why it crashed like this. So I did. I just go to local app data, right? And I go to Autodesk, uh, no, it's not the one, Revit 2019, journals, yeah, this is the one. And it shows why the program crashed and popped up the error here. Yeah, right there. It has a invalid parameter, as you can see here. So I think, it's my guess, um, I think it's because it can't detect M1 chip. That's why it's showing the invalid parameter. You know, Intel based, you know, processor or AMD based processor plus like GeForce, you know, those kind of dedicated graphic cards and integrated graphic cards, you know, they have specific format, right? Like, you know, that kind of information of the graphic card. But I think M1 chip has some kind of little bit different information or probably like some lack of some sort of information, I think. That's why it's not working, I guess. Yeah, because it's not working on any version of Revit. So if you really want to use Revit with M1 Mac, I don't think so. Yeah, and when it crashes, it just freeze and doesn't do anything. I have to, whoops, I have to open the task manager and close it manually. It's not even closing. Great. Yeah, I just wanted to update to you guys because I've been waiting for this Revit working on Windows 10 on M1 MacBook Air. It's been like how many months now? Like three months? And it's still not working. In my opinion, if you're planning to use Windows for like um, this for this kind of application, then I just suggest you to get, you know, just Windows laptop, not the M1 MacBook Air. And if you wait for a little bit of a while, then as you can see, you can actually click something on the screen like this. But whenever you do that, um, sometimes it crashes again. I mean, it's working right now, like this taps, but you know, it's gonna be crash if I make a new project. Um, I'll just do a math trick. Yeah, see, yeah, it's having the same error. So, yeah. And then it freezes again. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Yeah, this one, it crashes completely. I don't want to send a report. I'll just close it. Okay. Okay. Processing. Ready. Okay, yeah, it just crashed. Oh, <laughs> I thought it was gonna work. I really thought it was gonna work, but it doesn't work. So yeah, 
If you're expecting to use Revit on any kind of M1 product, then don't. Just get Windows laptop or Windows you know, desktop instead. I mean, it's not working, that's why. Yep, so it was a quick video. Um, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys in my next video.